In this video, I want to show you how to do conditional formatting in Microsoft Access. Here's a typical Access report. And let's say, uh, if we look at the order amount field, we want it to be read if the amount is over, let's say, um, $1,000, but only if it's over $1,000. So that would be called conditional formatting. So in this case, we're going to go back to design view. Now you pick on the field that you want to conditionally format. So I want to pick on the order amount field here in the details section. So from there, once I pick on that field, then I'm going to pick on the format menu up above. And from here, I'll pick on conditional formatting. Now there's two methods of this that I'm going to uh, display for you. I'm going to pick on new rule. Now I'm going to say check values in the current record or use an expression. And then we're going to say field value is greater than. Uh, you notice how you have greater than, less than, and those kind of comparisons. We'll say greater than, and we'll say 1,000 here. And let's just say I'm going to make that um, have a red color. And you can see the preview over here. I mean, you can make it bold also. And uh, you can change it to be italics or underline. This would be the background color, and this would be the foreground color. This would be um, if I want to turn that raw. So I'm going to click on OK. So if the value is over $1,000 for the detail section uh, in the order amount field, then it'll turn red. I'm going to click on OK. So now we'll run the report. I'll do right click on the, the tab, and we'll pick on Print Preview. And notice how the one that's over $1,000 uh, turned to red. And that happened all the way throughout the report. Here's another example where it turned to red. And then another one. Now notice how the subtotal did not turn red. Well, that's because I only chose uh, the order amount in the detail section. So if I go back to design view, then I can also maybe put uh, a conditional formatting on, on the one for the, uh, the footer. But I only chose the one for the detail section, so that's only the, the only place it'll apply to. Uh, so let me show you another way to do conditional formatting. Uh, this is going to be using a data bar. So uh, this will be uh, comparing the records to each other, basically. So I'm going to click on that field again, and I'm going to right click on it. And uh, actually, I'll just click on it, and then we'll pick on the format menu, and we'll pick on conditional formatting. Now notice how that rule is already there. Let's do that again. I'll say if it's less than 400, I want those to be a color. So I'll pick on new rule. And we'll say field value is less than 400. Perhaps I want those to be blue. So just to show you another example, I'll click on OK. Both of those rules actually uh, can be there. You can have as many rules as you wanted to. You used to have a limit of three. Now uh, you can have as many as you wanted to uh, in the newer version of Access. So I'll click on OK. And let's run that now. And we'll do a print preview. And there's one that's red, of course. And look, there's a couple that are blue because they're less than $400. So notice how I can have both conditions at the same time. Here's a couple more that are blue because they're less than $400. Uh, let me go back to Design View again. Now I'm going to click on that field. And then we'll go back to the Format menu, and we'll click on Conditional Format. Now, uh, if I want to edit the rules, I can change them. I can delete the rules. In fact, I want to delete both of those rules. I'll click on Delete Rule here, and then Delete Rule again. Now, let me show you a new way to do conditional formatting. I'll click on New Rule. Now, here it says Compare to Other Records. And when you do that, then you can get something that's called the Data Bar. So the data bar, uh, it, it's going to show a bar based on the value uh, compared to the other values uh, in the range. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. You can pick a different color if you wanted to. Uh, I'll go with the blue this time. And I'll click on OK. And then click on OK again. Let's see what this one does for us. I'm going to right click on the tab and click on Print Preview. Now notice how you have these bars here. So let's see if we have one that's kind of different. Like here, look at the 660 compared to the 2156. 
and you can see that the bar sizes are a little bit different there. Here's even a more dramatic change. Here's one that says 191 and you have a smaller bar and then here's one that says 4675 and then it has a bigger bar. So just by looking at that bar I can kind of see where that number falls within within the whole report as far as the range of numbers. On, the, on this page you can see the difference uh, you know even more. Here's one that has zero, here's one that has 4210 and you can see they have a bigger bar. So those are ways that we can do conditional formatting in our access report.